Hello everybody, welcome to Mitchell with PJ. Today's date is December 6, 2016. Our word for discussion is cheerfully. 1 Samuel 15, 13. When Samuel finally found him, Saul greeted him cheerfully. Hello there, he said. Well, I have carried out the Lord's command. Proverbs 15, 13. A joyful heart makes a cheerful face, but when the heart is sad, the spirit is broken. Isaiah 64, 5. You welcome those who cheerfully do good, who follow God's ways, but we are not godly. We are constant sinners and have been all our lives. Therefore, your wrath is heavy on us. How can such as we be saved? In John 16:33, these things I have spoken unto you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world. Hebrews 12:9. Since we respect our fathers here on earth, though they punish us, should we not all the more cheerfully submit to God's training so that we can begin to really live? 1 Peter 4, 9, cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay for the night. To find this is full of good spirits, merry, ungrudging, cheer, uh, no gloom, no worry. Even our spirits have been broken. We need to try to be cheerful and joyful of the heart. When Jesus brought peace into the world, we were made cheerful. We need to cheerfully surrender and submit to God's ways always. God will welcome you cheerfully in heaven through Jesus, his son. Saul sinned when he tried to do the command that Samuel was supposed to do, and for that he lost his kingdom. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.